Hello and welcome to your January 2023 full moon reading. Now the full moon is also called the wolf moon this month and it is um, the strongest on the 6th of January 2023. Now before we talk about the moon let's talk about the energy of the new year. 2023 is what is known as a seven year because two and two and three is seven. Seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So what that means is that the energy of the new year is about harmony because seven is also the number for Libra, which is the seventh sign. And um, Libra is a sign that, that um, favors or craves harmony more than anything else. So while the full moon is not in Libra, the number of seven um, is nonetheless super strong because it literally stays with us for the entire year of 2023. And because harmony is at the center of the energy of the new year, that's what we're all thriving for. And the full moon in January is actually in the sign of Cancer. Now, Cancer is the only sign within the zodiac wheel that is governed by the moon. So therefore, in a weird way, the moon is at home. And it is also very close to Gemini's strongest stars, Castor and Pollux, which are also known or referred to as the twins. And the energy of Gemini that is sort of also in a roundabout way affecting us on the full moon in Cancer in January 2023, um, means that your inner voice that tells you now is time to let, to let things go might be a little less vocal <laughs> around the time of the full moon, but fear not, because the moon governs our emotions. The moon governs Cancer. The full moon that governs the emotions sits in Cancer. The sign that is getting the most of the moon's help simply because it is governed by the energies of the moon. So in short, in January 2023, the first full moon of the year, one of 13 actually this year, allows you to release, allows you to let go and allows you to understand that holding on to things is not only harmful to you but totally unnecessary because of the energy of seven and the energy of the moon in the sign that is governed by the moon actually all work very very well together. So in, 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 in short, the energies that are coming with the full moon um, in January 2023 are all about releasing things for the highest good, if that makes sense. And while you can expect to be extra emotional on that very day, you can also expect for your soul to not trying to hold on to shit any longer into stuff any longer that isn't working. And that in itself is progress because many people um, have a hard time letting go. Sometimes, you know, guilt is, is something that people take on for no apparent reason. And all January, uh, the January full moon allows you to do is to not have these feelings of everything is your fault um, and all these sorts of stuff. It is purely designed to allow you to let stuff go. Now, there's nothing better than start a new year by purging the old and the stale. And that's exactly what this new moon um, of January 2023, the full moon in, sorry, not moon, moon full moon, the, the full moon in Cancer allows you to do. So when it comes to, to advice, just remember to let it happen. Don't let it happen. Don't block it. And the easiest thing to do is either a moon ritual, um, to join a moon circle, full moon circle, if there is one, one close to you. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff you can do. 
The best thing you can also do is because it is called the wolf moon, so therefore it is associated with the spirit animal um, of the wolf, which is about you know having having a pack, running a pack, and the wolf um, is a really social canine. So in other words, because that energy comes in as well, maybe it is time for you not to linger over whatever happened with regards to your upbringing, your, your family, maybe you are looking after, after uh, uh, a parent um, or whatever it is you're doing. The point, the point is that the wolf is saying to you, unless you are in charge, how can you run your pack? So go run your pack and understand that you by default a very just being and um, you want harmony and you want things to be smooth but sometimes that means to have boundaries so all of this combined comes out on the full moon in january 2023 therefore it is really really powerful to understand that um that the moon is at home in cancer now cancer's depiction is a crab and every now and then if the shit hits the fan the energy of cancer is one like, okay, let me just hide in, in crevices here. <laughs> and that is another thing that happens a lot when the moon is in cancer, that people have problems releasing it. But because the moon is at home in cancer, or the cancer is at home uh, in, in, in the moon's energy, there's no risk of, of you trying to hide your emotions and also let go of, of, of old stale pain because it is a very strong time for releasing all that you have accumulated over time and realize that this is a seven year this is a really really high energy high number year and that energy of number seven aids us uh, and aids every full moon that is coming along this very year all right that's all I got. See you all next month. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye bye guys.